Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a get ready with me. It's been a while since I've made any videos. Um, as most of you guys know, I'm pregnant and it's been just a really, really rough pregnancy. A lot rougher than my first one for sure. Um, and so yeah, I just wanted to do a get ready with me today and then hopefully do a couple of videos um, before I get started really quick. I'm just going to use um, some of my Garnier <laughs> moisturizer really quick and let that sink in and then I can talk to you guys a little bit I know my get ready with me's always end up being like way too long so um yeah I thought I'd do this really quick first so yeah um today actually what is today like August 26th or 27th I think today is the 27th um which I just realized saying that, that today's my one year anniversary at the job that um, I'm at. But anywho, so um, I actually stayed home sick today from work because I woke up this morning. I felt fine like when I first woke up and I got Nolan ready and um, Brennan took him to my mom's and stuff. And then I was like in the shower getting ready for work and I just felt like so sick. And I think I might have like the stomach flu. So that was like really rough this morning. It's like 3.30 now. So um, I, I got over the sickness and then I took a really long nap and now I woke up. I'm glad that Nolan wasn't here while I was really sick. Um, and I feel quite a bit better. I still have a headache, but I thought I'd take advantage of like having the house myself because that literally never ever happens. <laughs> um, and that I would do a little bit of filming today. So yeah, I tried to like, <laughs> get myself like together and dressed up a little bit but I'm still not feeling the greatest and I'm really hot too but we'll get we'll get into it and see um I'm gonna first put on some of this MAC stroke cream I've just been trying to get through a lot of these like small sized items um so yeah I am almost like 32 weeks pregnant well, how far am I today I am 30 one weeks and four days pregnant um which is crazy it's going by really fast now that we're like getting towards the end um oh man it's been a hot summer to be pregnant too like <laughs> I don't know it's been kind of rough on me but and I just like I've been having not the greatest pregnancy so far to be honest but um I think I'll go over a lot of that stuff in a pregnancy update and um the gender reveal because i still haven't even like <laughs> revealed the gender to you guys um so i'll have a gender reveal video and everything i'll post that below if you want to see that um i'm not sure if i don't think i even put it on my instagram so i don't think anyone knows but um i'm sure i'll post the gender reveal before this so we're having a girl and i'm just so excited to have a little girl like we already have a boy you guys know um nolan is my son he is um three and a half almost like by the time she's born he'll be um three and a half um we only have seven more weeks until the c-section so as you can tell i'm like super out of breath um but yeah i'll go over like a bunch of like pregnancy stuff and how we did our gender reveal and because it was a pretty crazy story of like what ended up happening um it wasn't the greatest uh gender reveal but um I'm just excited that we're having a girl um so yeah if you want to check that video out I'll link that down below so you guys can go and watch that oh I keep forgetting to mention okay so now I'm using the benefits uh professional just like a small size so yeah so I'm homesick today but I'm feeling a little bit better um I don't know if it's like I've been having like crazy nesting like especially this last week I feel like I've gotten a little bit of energy back and I've been getting like a ton of stuff done in the house, like getting her nursery done and stuff. Um, I'm going to use the CoverGirl foundation. This is in nude beige. I'm not sure if they sell this anymore. And I've just been using it on like a Coastal Sense brush so that honestly, because I just don't feel like washing my beauty liner and like getting it wet all the time. So I've just been like sticking some on there. I actually already did my foundation today when I was like getting ready to go to work and I was like, I just finished like doing foundation and concealer and powder and I felt so sick and I like texted my boss and was like, I can't come in. <laughs> so I ended up 
um, after I was done being sick and stuff. I took a really long nap and I woke up and my foundation was like all gross. So I took that all off after my nap and um, now I just get to do it all over again. <laughs> But yeah, this foundation is like a perfect color for me right now. The nude beige color. So I've been liking it. But um, yeah, so I've been like having some crazy like nesting lately. And this probably has to do with it too. But like, as you guys know, I haven't bought makeup in like over two and a half years. January will be three years since I bought makeup. I've got like a few things as gifts. And like I have a ton of gift cards that like I... I don't even think that I've really used any of my gift cards, but I have like a ton of gift cards because people always get me like all tons of Sephora gift cards as gifts because they know that I love makeup so much. Um, so yeah, I have a ton of gift cards, but I haven't really bought anything, especially this year. I haven't bought anything at all. Um, and I haven't really gotten any gifts this year either, but yeah, I'm starting to like, like I was looking the other day and I was like, okay, I haven't bought any makeup in like two and a half years. So all these foundations are at least two and a half years old. So I, and I still have, I've gotten rid of a bunch and I've used up a bunch. Um, and I gave some to a friend too. And so I'm down to like, I mean, I had like back in the day, I used to have like 80 something foundations. Like it was ridiculous. And, um. Now I'm down to like 40 something foundations and like some of them are just like the little mini like ones too. But I looked and like out of those I have like um, probably like six or seven of them that are like higher end brand ones like not from the drugstore. So I think like once this is done, which I don't think will take that much longer. I'm like over halfway done with it. I think I'm just going to use those because I have like like a Tarte one, an Urban Decay one, two Lorac ones, um, a Benefit one, and a Makeup Forever one, I think. I think I'm going to try to focus on using those up because I know I'm going to end up having to probably throw away a bunch of foundation. Um, and the other ones I know I always would get with like crazy coupons and stuff, so it wouldn't <laughs> be so sad to me if I had to like throw those away. But if I had to throw away like a $40 foundation, I know that <laughs> I'd be pretty sad, so... Um, next I'm going to use this concealer. It's the Tarte concealer. Same with my like concealer. I'm almost out of mascaras, which is really good. Um, so like anything that's like creamy products, I'm like, those are going to need to go. Like powders, I don't think are like that big of a deal, but like foundations, mascaras, um, concealers, things like that. I'm like, I should just be using up my like nice ones that I really like because a lot of these are going to have to go in the trash. And that's all the concealer that I have left in there. So it's not that much. And the swivel thing keeps breaking on it too. And this is a really nice concealer. I don't know if they still make it, but I'm like, I should probably use up like, like I have a matte concealer and a YSL concealer and different things like that, um, that I should probably use up before like all these ones that I had gotten from like, <laughs> like with coupons and stuff like that. So that, I don't know. At least I'm not as sad when I have to like throw everything away, but um, yeah. So I just have been like dabbing this in because I don't want to get my beauty blender wet. I actually just switched out to like a new beauty blender like a month ago, I think. Um, because I realized that the one that I was using, that orangey one, I had been using it for literally two years. <laughs> and that's like such a long time. But yeah. I feel like my face is starting to like get swollen from like you know being in the third trimester now so like I don't know I can I can feel that like my lips feel like a lot more swollen and like around my eyes just like kind of looks more swollen so I don't know I've been trying to make my makeup still look nice but I mean it's just like how it is towards the end of pregnancy I actually I have only um I've only gained three pounds. I weighed myself this morning. I'm only up three pounds my entire pregnancy, which is crazy because my belly is huge and she just feels like she's so big. Um, but my doctor says that that's fine. Um, that I must have like lost a bunch of weight other places, which my legs do feel kind of, um, 
like smaller, which is kind of weird because I'm like so super pregnant. So yeah, I wouldn't be sad about it if I like after I had the baby weighed less than when I got pregnant. So I wouldn't be too upset about it. So I just have been like eating healthy and eating like normal. So um, we'll see. I know she's probably going to be smaller than Nolan was. He was almost 10 pounds. <laughs> Um, and they said that she's only in like the 40th percentile where he was like in the hundredth percentile and he was, he was big. So yeah, I just use a little bit of this, um, Maybelline mineral power translucent, um, loose powder. I've just been like using this to set under my eyes and stuff with this, uh, little real techniques brush. Um, it ends up being like a little bit pale for my body, but I'll go through and once I put bronzer and stuff on it, it usually ends up matching. For powder, I've been using this uh, Wet n Wild one. I just switched this because I finished up my Neutrogena one. And this is the coverall. And I've only been using it for like a couple weeks. So I feel like I can already see like the pan shape in it. <laughs> like it's going by really, really fast. Um, excuse my nails. Like I just did them um, like when I got up earlier. And I feel like some of it's like still like on my skin. Um, but I use this OPI every month is Oktoberfest, which is super pretty. Um, but yeah, I've just been like really in the fall mood, even though it's literally like 80 degrees outside today and it's still August, but I just love fall so much. Every year I just get so excited for fall. I actually have a leaves candle burning back there and it just smells so good. I was only using my... I feel like I'm talking so much. <laughs> I was only using my um, wax warmer for a while because we had that issue, if you guys remember, with like the soot and everything from the candles um, last like Christmas time. But those, I decided like it was only from like using really, really cheap like Dollar General candles that people had gifted me that you could like see the smoke like coming off of them, you know? And I was thinking about it, I was like, Millions of Bath and Body Works candles are burned every year and no one else has ever like I've never heard of anyone else having this problem so I don't think that those candles do it and I had burned Bath and Body Works candles for years and never had that problem so I kind of am like starting to feel okay with burning candles again. I haven't burned them upstairs because last time when I got in like all our dishes and like everything and like all Nolan's like sippy cups and everything like that um, that was like an, a really big issue. So I'm kind of nervous to do it like around that, but like down here, I feel like I'm a little bit more comfortable about it, but I don't know. You guys let me know if you've ever had, um, any issue burning Bath and Body Works candles. Cause I feel like those ones are better. Plus like when I first like lit this one today, I had first burned it for the first time yesterday ever. And when it was burning, it was like fine and then today when I lit it it kind of had like those little like poofy balls at the top of the wicks you know and I feel like I could see a little bit of smoke when I first like lit it so I blew it out waited for it to cool off and then I cut those tips off so that it was like the wicks were really short and I think that that like helped it because now it's just like burning evenly and it's not like flickering everywhere <laughs> and there's not like any smoke so I feel like it should be fine but you guys let me know I just never want to have to deal with that problem again because that was ridiculous. Okay, so that's like all the face stuff. Um, I've been kind of like letting my face like set lately because I feel like maybe it's just because I'm so hot because I'm pregnant all the time. But like I let my foundation like kind of set in for a little bit longer with the powder before I add like bronzer and stuff or else it kind of looks like patchy. So I'm going to move on to eyes. And I've been using some MAC eyeshadows lately. So this is like my little combo that I've been doing. Um, this is MAC's Femme Fi eyeshadow and it's like getting pretty low. It was like a limited edition color that they had like, I don't know, a long time ago. <laughs> um, I've seen it like come back in some palettes and stuff like that. So, um, but it's just kind of like, it's kind of like rice paper or like nylon. So it's not like too super special, but I do really like it. And then I made this little quad of eyeshadows that I've been using a lot. Oh, of course. <laughs> this, they don't have the magnets, so I feel like they don't stick very well. Um, this is soft brown, 
Um, this one is Saddle. This is Woodwinked. And this is Folly. So um, this with this has been like my little, like favorite little eye combo. Uh, so first I go in with this Bourjois Liquid Eyeshadow in Beige. So I've like used the one in Brun for like literally ever. And can you see that's like almost gone? It's like really hard to use now but this one's pretty full um and this one's a lot lighter of a color and I actually really like this one um but I've been putting it like in the inner portion of my eye like that and it's so bright and pretty like I don't know why I like never really use this one I mostly just use the other one which I do like the other one still but yeah this one's really good <laughs> so yeah blend that in and it just kind of looks like that that's really pretty I'm trying to think I feel like there's so much to update you guys on but like I don't know I don't want to talk too much about just pregnancy stuff because I'll do that in like a pregnancy update especially for people that like aren't really interested in hearing about it but okay um, then I just used this, like, Physician's Formula. It's, like, an old eyeliner I have um, in Black Woods. And I just, uh, it's really, really creamy. And I just put it in this outer corner because it's, like, a nice base for, like, the dark color that I'm going to put there. And I just do it really sloppy, honestly. Because once I blend the eyeshadows over it, like, it doesn't even really matter. But it does help make the outer corner like darker and like I do it on the lower lash line too <laughs> it always looks really crazy though okay so I'm going to take the femme Fi eyeshadow and this um physicians or no Sony Kashuk brush and I just go over that um cream color base and then I kind of put it like up under my brow too just like kind of subtly kind of do like a couple layers of it but it's really pretty <sighs> I'm starting to like one like run out of a lot of stuff and two like my stuff's getting really old I just like naturally like haven't the past couple years like really wanted to like buy a bunch of stuff like ever since I had a baby like I don't know your finances get like different and your budget is different and I kind of like just live like that now like I haven't I'm pregnant and so I didn't buy any maternity clothes this time around like this isn't a maternity shirt it's just like a normal shirt it doesn't fit the best but I've just been trying not to like buy anything so I haven't bought like any clothes this year at all yet I haven't bought any beauty products at all um so but I've been starting to realize like a lot of my stuff is getting like really old to the point where I might need to like throw stuff away <laughs> soon so like all my body lotions you guys probably know I've mentioned it before I'm allergic to a lot of body lotions um, I'm gonna use a different Sony Kashuk brush in the um, soft brown color just to kind of like blend out up here it's kind of light on me soft brown works better on other people but I hear my dog doing stuff um, but yeah, it still kind of works as a transition color. But anyways, so my, a lot of my stuff is just getting like really old. Like my lotions are really old and I've like found that most of them I've been like allergic to. Um, I started the year with 44, I think, body lotions. And now I've finished like 20 of them or like gotten rid of like 20 of them. But I'm always just scared to like try a new one because and when I try it, I have to tr try it on like a small part of my body for like a few days and see if I get hives. And like the other day I tried one and I got like hives like kind of like on my chest again, which is kind of common, a common place for me to get the hives when I do use lotion. But it was one that I had tested somewhere else and it was fine. Um, I'm gonna use Saddle. So, I don't know, I have like 20 lotions left and I'm like, I don't know, I'm probably just gonna end up having to like throw these all away. So, I don't know. 
I just like don't understand what my thinking was a few years back when I was just like constantly hauling stuff. Rupert! He's like coughing and stuff. I hope he's okay. He's sleeping in his little bed down there, but I don't know what he's doing. Um, yeah, I'm just putting the saddle like more in the crease, I guess. So yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna have to like throw a bunch of my stuff away and just buy like, like a vino lotion or like Purell or something like that because my skin has just been like super super sensitive and it could be because I'm pregnant too cause, you know like when you're pregnant your skin gets more like sensitive to stuff but I don't know I'm just like I, I, I don't know what my thinking was like back in like 2012 through 2015 where I literally was just like going to the store every day and like buying so much stuff and like never being able to, be able to use it it just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, my skincare, I'm finally, like, almost out of everything. And then I'm just going to be, like, really, really basic with my skincare. But I'm just like, girl, what were you doing buying, like, a million, bi or, like, uh, cleansers for your face and you only used Dove Bar Soap? Like, it made no sense. I haven't been able to use bar Dove Bar Soap in literally, like, over three years, I think. Like, since, like... 2016 2015 because I've been using up just a ton of like cleansers all the time I had so many and now I only have like I think like three left or something and I'm just like what were you doing with your time and your money and your sanity <laughs> so oh I didn't mention I used the uh folly shade that was what I used in the outer corner and then on my lower lash line like that it probably still looks kind of messy but let's blend it a little um and then I'm gonna take just like a tiny bit of that woodwinked color and just like put it right here woodwinked on me is like super light and like golden like on everyone else I swear it's like a dark like bronzy color and on me it's like a bright gold <laughs> So I don't know, maybe mine's just like a different one or something. I don't know. Um, I'm going to go back in with FemFi just a little. And put some under my brow right there. Because sometimes when you blend all the eyeshadows, it kind of blends it away. Add a little bit more in my inner corner. Okay, so, and then I'm just going to go in with this uh, L'Oreal Visible, Visible Lift Powder. It's really cakey, but it's almost gone. I don't know how I had used so much of it up before, but I've been just trying to like, like I use it to brighten up my eyeshadows because it's so light. I just take like that same little Real Techniques brush and do you see how much it like brightens up right there in that pocket and like clean up the fallout. But like if I use this anywhere for, except for right here, it like gets so cakey. Like you can see every pore and it just looks terrible. <laughs> So I don't know how long it's going to take me to use it up, but like literally I can just use it like right here and that's about it. <laughs> okay. I'm like super hot. Oh, probably shouldn't have worn like a three quarter length of shirt today when it's like 80 degrees outside. It's so hot. Okay, so bronzer, I'm trying to just use this up because it's like almost gone. I love this bronzer, it's the Maybelline Mineral Power Bronzer and it's like my oldest one. But the color, I don't know why, but lately it's just been annoying me because it's like really orangey. So maybe it's because like honestly this year I didn't really go out in the sun like at all. Because one, I'm just like too hot and pregnant to even be outside. Um, This is like a Sony Kashuk blush brush. But also, like, I don't know, our allergies were the worst this year, especially Nolan and Brendan's. They were so bad, and they suffered to go outside, so we didn't really go out that much. And also, I've been kind of noticing, like, I don't know, I used to always try to, like, go out and get tan and stuff. But I've just been, like, noticing, like, you guys know I work at a bank. 
and a lot of the members like they would come in and stuff like that um like customers or whatever that would come in this summer like a lot of the women that would come in that were like you could tell they were like trying to get tan all the time their like skin just like looked like leathery and stuff and there's like a few people in particular that like when i'd see them i'd be like i don't want to even try to get tan anymore <laughs> I know that probably sounds bad, but I know the sun is, like, super bad for you, and it just, like, doesn't even look cute. Like, I'd rather just be, like, pale and, like, have nice-looking skin. And, like, I've also noticed now that I'm, like, getting a little bit older, I'm, I'm still in my 20s, um, I'm 28, but, like, when I would go outside a lot, I'd start to see, like, sunspots on my face. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm too young for that. So, I don't know, I just feel like it's, like, not even worth it at all. So I've been pretty pale this summer. It's like the palest summer I've ever had, but I'm fine with it. So, okay. Hopefully that matches. And can you tell it's just like a little bit orangey, but it's like so close to being gone. Like it's super thin all around it too. So I don't know. Okay. Blush. Um, this isn't like my favorite blush to use ex until I'm like more pale but it's so close to being gone. I just want it to be finished up this year. It's the L'Oreal True Match Blush in Bare Honey, and it's like almost gone. So, I mean, it's just like, it's not even really like a blushy color to me. It's kind of just like a, like you can't even really see it show up that much once I have like bronzer and stuff on. But I've just been using my classic Studio M blush brush. Okay, so my husband actually just called to check on me to see how I was doing because I stayed home sick today. And so I was in the middle of filming. He didn't know that I was filming. And so, because um, I'm filming on my phone, it like shut it off. Um, so I think I left off on blush, um, which was this L'Oreal True Match blush that is almost gone. If I can open it now. But yeah, it's getting super down in there. So I've just been trying to like finish up a bunch of stuff and then move on to other things because I don't know I feel like I'm not interested in buying any other makeup but I just like get stressed out about having as much as I do um I'm gonna put on some lip balm really quick I just have this like wet and wild it's just like a little balm while I finish my makeup but yeah I don't remember what we were talking about so sorry about that hopefully I, I can merge these videos together pretty easily but if not I'd have to do like a part one and a part two which would be frustrating um but we'll see okay so let's do let's do eyebrows next um I have my just like this really old like Maybelline brow powder it's just what I've been using lately it's not anything that great and I think it's honestly like a little bit too um like warm toned for me right now or like just in general I just get my brush in there but I don't know it's just really fast and easy so that's just kind of what I've been doing so I have my carefree mirror as always so I don't know if, can you tell I mean I feel like it's not that bad it's not like it's like orangey or anything <sighs> It's starting to like give me some fallout like I'm down on my cheek too of course I really need to wax my eyebrows too or like use the little like razor thing they're pretty bad right now so just like that super fast I'll brush that little bit of fallout away um so yeah what else <laughs> I don't know what else, what I, what I was exactly talking about before. Um, but yeah, life's been pretty good. It's, it's just been hard being super pregnant, but other than that, work's all right. A lot of my friends are leaving my, um, where I work. Um, like two, one just moved away, like far away. She moved to... Australia and um another girl's moving to Virginia 
because um, her husband's like getting deployed there, so they're she's just quitting and going there. Um, another lady just got a promotion today um, that I saw on Snapchat, <laughs> being homesick. Another girl is being forced to leave and go to another branch, which was really really sad. Um, they like changed how they're doing their teller stuff now so now she's being like forced to go to a different branch which is really really sad um i'm just i'm kind of glad though that they didn't make me leave um and then another girl just finished training to be like a manager type job um so i'm sure she's gonna be applying and we'll probably get one within the next couple months and then I'm going on maternity leave, so I don't really know what they're going to do. <laughs> uh, my boss is probably super stressed out right now, but I don't know. I'm just kind of sad because it's a lot of my friends. I still have like a couple that will still be there, but yeah, it's just been a little bit sad. Um, uh, clean up that follow. Okay, so eyebrows look all right. <laughs> now let's do highlight. Let's see. I have this elf highlight that is like super old. Everything's like rubbed off of it. And I've repressed it so many times. I've been using it for over a year straight. Like maybe even like two years straight. And it's almost gone. But it's still not gone. Um, I always just use this little like Bare Minerals uh, brush. I just like go in the bottom portion there. I just put a little bit right there. It's probably because I just don't highlight that much honestly. Even though these off ones like don't have that much product in them. I just don't really do a whole lot. So I don't know if you can see that. It's really subtle. And then I always just do like a little bit on my nose. <laughs> if that shows up. I'm not really sure. I don't like how it looks on my forehead though. <laughs> so yeah. I mean it's, it's getting really low. But I've just been like trying to like get through some stuff before like the end of the year and I've actually like used up and gotten rid of a lot of stuff this year which is awesome even though I uh, only work part time so I don't wear a lot of makeup and um, even though I've been super pregnant so I haven't really like wanted to wear makeup a lot but I feel like I've still gone through uh, quite a bit of stuff which is good um, or like gotten rid of a bunch of stuff so yeah some of my categories are still like insane like eyeshadows and eyeliners and stuff like that blushes like bronzers but like highlights i'm getting really low um mascaras are in the single digits now which is awesome um just different things like that so yeah what should we do next i'll do I'll do like eyeliner mascara. So I've been like curling my lashes before I put on my eyeliner because I feel like it makes my eyelash curler get really gunked up really fast if I do it the other way around. So I've just been doing that and I haven't been putting any eyeliner on the top um, lash line in a really long time. Um, like liquid liner. But I've kind of been like wanting to do it lately. So I don't know, I have like a handful of liquid liners that I should use up soon because they're old. Um, I've gotten like a couple as like free samples, like the Kat Von D ones. I've gotten like two of those as free samples. But the other couple of them are like older. <laughs> they're like two years old. They haven't been opened or used or anything, but I should definitely use them up. So part of me kind of wants to do that. I started putting a lot of my makeup um, especially like the stuff that I'm trying to use up, which is like all the stuff I'm showing you guys, in a um, makeup bag, just because I feel like it's easier. Like if I need to like take it with me and go, isn't this cute? It kind of looks like holographic. Um, but also because I feel like if I had the baby anytime soon, it would be easy to just like have it all in here and I could just like go to the hospital with it because I actually did uh, put on makeup like one or two days um, when I was in the hospital for Nolan I was there for like well like four or five days or whatever because um, I had an emergency c-section so um, yeah I want to like have everything ready and like kind of like packed up and ready to go it's just been like all my nesting stuff but yeah so that's my eyelashes curled and then I've just been using this um, bare minerals retractable black eyeliner um it's like down to there so i mean it still kind of has a lot but 
but I've been trying to use up my retractable liners because I found that like the sharpenable ones, if they get dried out a little bit, you can sharpen them and then they're fine. But the retractable ones, because they're like in a plastic tube, there's way more air in there. And I found a ton of my retractable liners that are like dried out and I had to like toss them. So I've just been trying to like use up some of these and they go by way faster than the pencil ones. Pencil ones, like my Mac one that I just finished up, um, that took me over a year of using it all the time for it to go away or to get used up. Um, and the retractable ones, I feel like I can go through them, through them in like a couple of months. So, yeah. There's that. Ow. Oh, it's a sharp pain in my side. She has been like the most active baby ever. Like way more active than Nolan was. Like she literally moves around all day and all night long. Like doesn't stop. And it's like huge ones where you can like see it like, like thump out really far. Like, you know, everyone around me can even like see it. Um, and Nolan wasn't as active, but he still was active. Oh, I had a little flake of eyeliner. So yeah, that's the eyes so far. But yeah, she's just like constantly like kicking me in my sides all the time. So yeah, and sleeping has been like impossible. I've been so uncomfortable and we really needed a new mattress, but I don't know if I ever told you guys all that fiasco that happened with Art Van. It was like the worst thing ever. I'm sure I probably said it in a video before, but yeah. We just need to get a new mattress soon, but I, I'm nervous to ever try those like bed in a box ones um, because I don't like memory foam and I feel like they're all memory foam and I want to get like a pillow top mask, uh, mascara, mattress. Um, this mascara is the carbon black, um, voluminous waterproof, the L'Oreal voluminous waterproof and carbon black. <laughs> um, this used to be like my favorite mascara of all time. And it's still like, it's pretty good, but after using the Too Faced uh, Better Than Sex in Waterproof for like six months, this stuff literally just doesn't even compare. Like it's, the other one is so good, but it's like $25 and I'm like, I don't want to have to spend that every like three to six months for just a mascara, but it's so good. And I have like a ton of gift cards too, so I could go out and buy it. But, um, I don't know, I have a, uh, a couple more mascaras that I need to get through before, like, I'm completely out of mascaras, so I've been kind of wanting to just do that, so we'll see. I also feel like I've been, like, losing a ton of eyelashes lately. I think it's because, like, my allergies have been so bad. My eyes get itchy and I kind of like pull up my eyelashes and it like pulls them out. <laughs> okay. Does that look decent? Hopefully. And we'll do the bottom ones a little bit. This one I feel like isn't as good on the bottom lashes either. There's like a ton of other mascaras that I've used. Nah, that's okay. So yeah, that's the mascara. And then we're almost done. Um, wait for those to dry before I do a, a setting spray. We could do some like fun lips, I guess, cause I don't really ever do anything <laughs> with my lips. Um, I wanna use this, it's kind of like a darker fall color, but not that much. It's kind of like a raspberry color. This is a wet and wild velvet matte lip color in charred cherry and I've used like a ton of this over I don't know when I got that I think I got it like two years ago so it's kind of old but it's just it feels so nice um and the color is so pretty
that's cute. And then, do I want to put some gloss over it? I don't really know if I have any over here that would really go. So yeah, that's a pretty cute, like, pinky color. <sighs> so, okay, let's do some face spray super fast. This is literally, like, it has, like, two drops left in it. So it's, like, almost completely gone. And then the only face setting spray that I have left is a MAC Fix Plus Mini that's like this big that I got with a Mother's Day gift card. I know it wasn't this Mother's Day. It was either the one in 2018 or 2017, but, and then I'm out of setting sprays. And I don't really use setting sprays that often, but I notice when I don't like, I use like these little like razor things like on my face and if I haven't like done it recently um the powdery look on like you know like your peach fuzz or whatever on your face is like super noticeable especially like now that I've been pregnant I feel like you get like peach fuzz over your whole entire body um so yeah <sighs> that's the look <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed watching um, I know it's been, I think the last time I did a video was when I had to take Rupert to the vet and I had, um, some time after that, but, um, yeah, so I hope that you guys are doing well. Um, I am going to try to do some more videos today if I have more time. I have like an hour until, um, the guys get home, so we'll see what I can get done. Um, and I'll definitely do a pregnancy update since I didn't want to mention like too much about it in this video today. So if you're interested in seeing that, I'll link that down below. It'll be like my gender reveal slash pregnancy update because I'm almost done. I only have seven more weeks until my scheduled C-section. So we're getting there. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching and that you're having a great day and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.